Welcome to the Spectrum of Health podcast. My name's Jav, and today, guys, we're gonna talk about the liver king and why you guys should stop worshiping social media fitness influencers, okay? Because if you did not know he was on the roids, you clearly don't know anything about health and fitness. So I'm gonna get straight into it, but before I do that, please like, share, subscribe, whether you're on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, whatever it may be. A like, a share, buy me a coffee, all of that really does help the podcast continue to grow. I'm not in my usual setting today. Don't have my microphone. I've got my lapel mic attached to my camera, but we're still gonna make good audio out of this and uh, keep the quality nice and high. So the liver king, man, I can't say I'm surprised. I think everybody knew, unless you were like an idiot, that obviously he was clearly on some kind of performance enhancing drugs. His body is crazy. His abs are like, they look like rocks have been put in his stomach. And to be that size and still be that lean, that's always a red flag to me as someone who's been an athlete and who trains with athletes. You get to a certain size when you're gaining weight and you're doing weight training where the leanness it gets harder and harder, yeah? Because the more weight you gain, the harder it is to keep the body fat low, all right? So when you see those guys that are really, really, really big, but are still lean and very defined, the likelihood is that they, they're probably on something because it's almost, it becomes a, it's a genetic improbability is how I describe it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's improbable. So it's not very likely. So you have to bear that in mind. The thing is you have to stop worshiping these guys. And I think that's what really gets on my nerves. I don't think there's anything wrong with him doing drugs. I don't think there's anything wrong with Liver King doing PEDs. He's He's not an athlete, he doesn't compete in a sport, but I think that the issue that I think is prominent with this is he was preaching about the nine essential tenants, and some of those things he's preaching are actually quite good stuff, things that I actually agree with. But the problem is the kids and the, the young ones that are following him think that they need to do what he was doing in order to get in that kind of shape, which is false because he's taking drugs to get in that kind of shape. So you have to bear that in mind. And that's really the only issue I have with what he's doing. Am I against athletes or anybody taking PEDs? Of course, I think you can look amazing. You can perform well even without it. Um, so that's kind of my take on it. And the thing is, you need to understand there's another side to this and it's him promoting his supplements. <laughs> that's, there's another side to it. And I think that's a side that we also need to bear in mind is as part of his brand, he sells a supplement which makes low millions and millions of pounds yeah or dollars through a false image that he that he perpetrated using his nine essential tenants that's another narrative that we need to think about that is also kind of an issue at play here so the good versus the bad the good is there are some things that he preaches that i really do support get eight hours of sleep you know eat meat i, I personally think we, there's nothing wrong with eating meat get your protein in lift heavy weights and work out hard you know look after yourself look after your mental health like he has a lot of things i agree with on the flip side you know eating the raw meat the nine essential tenets now peds obviously there's things i don't agree with and i think the issue is when that starts to seep into his business and the ethical side of it for me as a coach obviously i'm not going to support that and i think that that's where kind of the, the disconnect is now how can we move on from this? Because people can't be talking about the liver king forever. Like, we've got to move on from it at some point. And another thing is, everybody knew. I want to talk to people that are just like viewers, consumers. You guys got to stop putting these fake trainers on a pedestal. These fake people that have, haven't given you any real scientific backing, you know, in, in what they say. They don't use any research to back up their points. They are always using like one extreme point of view. If I see a coach who has like one extreme point of view, I usually think that they're they're selling they're selling snake oil, as I say. They're a sell they're a, they're a snake oil salesman or whatever it's called. So if they've got one main point of view, it's fake. It's fake. It's always fake. <laughs> so yeah, the liver king, man. You guys take it, take it how you want, but that's that's really the truth. That is really the truth. Stop gassing up these fake influencers who don't know anything about health and fitness. They're just selling you a dream, okay? Selling you a dream. And you have to start vetting these people because what happens is you guys all support these people. They blow up and they get all this commercial stuff and they get all this money and they've been telling lies the whole time and they're spreading misinformation and they're getting things wrong and they're leading people like you down down the rabbit hole wondering why you can't get their results when they're taking drugs. And that's that's most, that's like majority of the fitness influencers. Like, and then the good ones, they get their shine too. There's some that are really good and I'm not I'm, you know I can't name all of them but there's some that are really good that I really rate and I really like appreciate and I look at their videos I'm like you guys are good like you put good content in there you're inspiring them guys need more shine we need to push more of those guys to the top of the industry all right anyway short podcast today just airing my grievances about the liver king and all that bullshit um don't forget to like share subscribe um free training programs in the description whether it's on youtube linkedin uh, linkedin spotify wherever it may be um jav spectrum fit spectrum of health podcast peace